So the next thing he wants us to be uh, to understand is how hard it is to kill a theory. No, no, no. I, I've seen this. Like the scientist <laughs> sees things, postulates something. It doesn't match his theory, and and then he <coughs> says. What? Goodbye, theory. I'm going to find yeah, a better yeah. theory. No, no, that's not the way it works. Deciding huh. which observations count or against the theory isn't all that straightforward, oh, and he tells us, right? I've been lied to my entire <laughs> <Yeah>. life. <laughs> so theories are extremely difficult to kill is, is part of what he, what he wants us to understand here, right? He says, suppose you're experiment, experimentally testing a theory, general relativity, re relativity say, uh, the theory has told you that you should expect to find that light bends as it travels through empty space. Now suppose you perform an experiment and lo, light does bend. Mm -hmm. So this counts, if anything does, as support for general relativity. But under determination, as we saw last time, implies that this result is also consistent with a number of possible theories right. about what may be happening, right. a number of possible of explanations about what may be happening, mm -hmm. right? So the theory accounts for this, but it also does not account for uh, other theories being wrong. Right, right. So yeah. you, the, the, the great theory that you could have is saying uh, uh, general relativity uh, explains this, and there's no other means by which uh, an explanation could result in an explanation of this bending of space. Be nice if that was the case, but you know it <laughs> yeah. doesn't. It's it's it doesn't work that way. Oh, Science man. is harder than that. Science right? is hard. <laughs> so surely the fulfillment of such scientific prophecies, proper, uh, prophecies count. He tells us as some kind of support. After all, if you didn't observe what general relativity predicted, then you'd know immediately that the theory wasn't true, right? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> I really like this theory. In fact, I, I've got millions of government dollars invested in this theory being yeah. correct. Yeah. I, I need to make this atom bomb or, or uh, you know, the, uh, we're going to start speaking German. And uh, the, 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 the Einstein can already speak it. So yeah. I, I, I really hope that this is true. So he says, even on that score, things are to us so simple. He says, to be sure, it seems reasonable to think that it's easier to kill a theory than support it. Our failed prediction should do the job. You discover that light doesn't bend. Well, then, general rel relativity is obviously wrong. After all, this is one way in which theories, in fact, die. They fail to match observations. But, he says, recall the process by which we discovered the planet Neptune. Remember that process, mm -hmm. right? Notice. Uh, this, as it turns out, is just how Neptune was actually discovered. The Newtonian theory predicted that Urania, uh, Uranus should have an observation that it clearly didn't have. Uranus was not doing what the theory said <laughs> it was supposed to be doing, right? It was acting up. It was, it was failing our predictions based on the theory. So why then, here's the question, right? Why didn't those uh, astronomers that observed that this uh, planet wasn't doing what the theory was, was supposed to be doing, why didn't they conclude that the Newtonian physics is just wrong? And we throw Newton out. Or the fact that we can know things and have dependability and have reliability that things are the same today as they were yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So there are all kinds of yeah. right, issues. So why didn't they just throw the theory out? It, clearly, we have now uh, a counterexample of what the theory is supposed to do. We have a failed predict prediction. We have an object that not is acting with accord <laughs> to what the theory tells us it should do. So we should get rid of the theory. It makes sense, right? The theory must be wrong. Right. Notice that is not what they did. They did not throw out the theory. They did not say Newton is wrong. They did not say let's start all over, right? <laughs> Scientists, he says, don't immediately give up a theory the moment trouble arises. There are usually heroic attempts to save the theory. Mm -hmm. And this is a good thing, he says, right? If scientists threw away a theory, the instance it, that it didn't agree with observations, no theory would get off the ground. Yeah. So let, let's, let's take this out of the, the sky and put it on the ground. You, 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 uh, you have a guy that you're looking at for the, the murder. He's looking good. He's got motive. He's got means. Uh, oh, but the opportunity, he, he, uh, he's got a waitress that says he was at the club at the time that the murder take place. Well, scratch him off the list. There's no reason to investigate further. The theory is dead, uh, like your victim, and you have to find another suspect. Yeah. Oh, except you bring the waitress in, 
and she was actually paid off by the, yeah. the husband. Or either she's his girlfriend. Or, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's many theories that, that would cause you not to uh, invalidate it and, and to, to continue on. You're, you're going to look for maybe other other means of, of, of explanation that will help reinforce your theory by saying, oh, well, um, here's, here's uh, an experiment that we did incorrectly or uh, had... Uh, wrong assumptions going into it uh, so that uh, we were looking for uh, X, but we got Y, uh, but we shouldn't have uh, expected either yeah. of them. Or so. our calculations were wrong, mm-hmm. right? Right. In fact, when there's a mismatch, uh, 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 Mitch tells us, um, between theory and observation, it's usually the scientist himself that's blamed, not the theory, <laughs> right? You did something wrong. You need to recalculate, right. right? And look at that again, right? And that sort of thing. So it's extremely difficult to kill off a theory, especially yeah. when it's kind of solid in the scientific community. And people seem to name things after the, themselves, and so it's really hard to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, <think>. that's right. <laughs> right. So that's that's an issue. So that's what makes, that's another thing that makes science hard, right? You get, you get entrenched in a theory, and now there's something wrong. Now what do you do? Do you kill off the theory, or do you fight for the theory and see if you can come up with something else? And sometimes there are other things going on, as we saw with you know, these various Mm -hmm. additions of planetary bodies based on a failed, you know, observation or prediction about an observation.